Uh, today we'd like to share with you a little bit about uh, high, tunnel, high tunnel construction in Nebraska. Uh, high tunnels are essentially an unheated greenhouse and people are starting to use them now. Uh, they use them to extend their growing season, especially now that the price of vegetables and flowers are, are in the increase. We see more people uh, growing plants in high, high tunnels. But behind me is an example of one type of high tunnel. But it, again, a high tunnel can look a lot like a greenhouse but there's no supplemental uh, heat in it. So the one we have here actually has more permanent sides. It's more of a permanent high tunnel, but you can also have high tunnels uh, which are movable as well. They can move from one site to another, and actually they're all uh, poly. Uh, this is sort of an experiment for us this year. We're getting used to it, fi figuring out how it works. Uh, we found out right away that one of the challenges we have in putting it up is the wind. And when you get very windy days and you're trying to put uh, a, a poly cover on this, uh, then it gets to be real much of a challenge. Also, we've been using a, a, a fabric uh, for uh, weed control. And we found out on those very windy days we had a few weeks ago uh, that the fabric didn't want to stay down very well and we even have it uh, clipped down. So, but anyway, but there's a lot of potentials for using high tunnels. But what we're trying to do here, we're trying to look at two different types of crops in the high tunnel. One, we're looking at vegetables. We're very interested in tomatoes, peppers, and cucumbers to see how they grow in the high tunnel. Again, we're trying to look at early production, but we're also interested in the late production uh, in, the, uh, in the year. The other crop type of crop we're looking at is cut flowers. And so we're looking at things like sunflowers, zinnias, uh, snapdragons, to see how they will perform in here. Uh, there are a couple other crops that are going to be very minor crops in here. One, we're looking at some of our penstemon to see how they might uh, react as sunflowers, or excuse me, as cut flowers. And then the other crop uh, we're doing a little bit of experimentation on our, uh, is asparagus. We're not sure how that'll do in the high tunnel, but we thought it would be an interesting concept to try. Now this uh, uh, project is funded by a project from the Rural Initiative uh, uh, Group on campus in Lincoln, and we certainly appreciate them uh, for supporting and putting this high tunnel up. But we do feel that there's a lot of potential there, uh, for doing this, and there's going to be a lot of potential across Nebraska for growing a variety of crops in the, in the high tunnel and high tunnel concept. Actually, high tunnels get their name because <clears throat> uh, previously people used what we call low tunnels and they were little small tunnels that you could put over like tomato plants to protect them in the spring. And sometimes those were only uh, one or two feet tall. Uh, and so those would be more like low tunnels. And then now we've gone to high tunnels and there's enough information out there that uh, you have people growing vegetables, you have them growing raspberries, strawberries in high tunnels. You also uh, have a few people trying to uh, grow dwarf fruit trees uh, in high tunnels. So there's a, a lot of opportunities there. I might also mention too that uh, on our irrigation system here, uh, we'll be using drip irrigation system and there's different types of uh, tubing that you can use. You can use the ooze holes, you can use sprinkler holes, you can also use the drip line which I have uh, here in my hand and <clears throat> this is a type of tubing that we're going to be doing down. One of the, one of the concerns you have is, is trying to keep your labor down a little bit so if you can have a way of watering these more automatically that's going to help out. The other thing is heat control in the spring and the fall. Uh, if this is all closed up it builds up a lot of heat in here so you do need some source of ventilation either the doors will open up for instance on this one the sides will come down uh, when it gets uh, real warm and go back up when it, when it cools down a little bit.